Hi guys, it's Jennifer back again. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the new to booktube tag. Now, as uh, you may have noticed, there are lots of these tags going around, and this one is uh, for new booktubers, which I am one of. And it's not to be confused with the booktube newbie tag, because there's that one out there too, but this one was made from, by Trina at be Between Chapters? Yes, Between Chapters. I'll link her um, video down below so you can see the original. And uh, let's just start getting right into it. Question number one, where are you joining us from? I am from Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, question two, how old are you? I am 39 years old. Question number three, why did you join BookTube? Well, I joined YouTube in general because I like making videos. And I originally was doing gaming videos. So I wanted to sort of get more into the vlogging type of stuff because <laughs> I had stuff I wanted to talk about, but I didn't really know what I wanted to talk about. I just knew that I wanted to say some stuff. I had things to say, but I just didn't really know what to say. <laughs> I didn't really know what I wanted to vlog about. I was just knew that I wanted to do it because I thought it looked fun and I liked the idea of making videos. And I have the one with my daughter, um, but I wanted to do something on my own as well. So, um, as I was thinking about it, and I was like, what should I, what should I do? What should I talk about? My stepdaughter just suggested, like, talk about books. You know, you're, like, really into books. You are really fun when you talk about books. You get really excited, and, and it's funny watching you talk about books. So I said, okay, I'll look up and see if people do that. So I looked up, and <laughs> lo and behold, people really, really do that. They really talk about books. There is a whole community of people talking about books. It's called BookTube. So I was like, okay, I think I think I can handle this. I think I can join in on the fun and I want to get in on it. So there we go. Number four, what is the meaning behind your channel name? I kind of answered this in a different tag. I answered this question in the T TMI tag that I did uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> when I was younger, like about 10, 15 years ago, I was uh, big, big into music, and I still am, but back then it was all I did in my free time. And I would fantasize about uh, my crushes, or what I want to do the rest of my life, or movies, and crushes I had in the movies, you know? Guys I had crushes on in the movies, or whatever, meeting celebrities, stuff like that. So I would also have really, really, really strange dreams, and I still do. They're very disturbing. They're nightmares, really horrible. I think I should actually just do a video on my dreams because some of them are absolutely disgusting and I can't even believe I'm dreaming them. Like really gross. Some really grisly, disgusting, graphic... No. <laughs> it would be like in a horror film, my dreams. It's horrible. But I digress. Obviously, kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of insane. My dreams are... My mind's not always there all the time. I kind of felt like it was a little bit insane, Ooh, you know? Um, but it was my sanity because I was used to it. Other people might find it crazy, uh, but for me, it was norm. I, it's how I've always been. My dreams have always been like that. Um, so basically, I just thought, you know, because it's in my mind and it is my sanity, it's inner sanity. And then sometimes, you know, I'll make the little N-E-R, as you'll see in my channel name. So it's inner sanity, but it looks like insanity. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Number five, what types of books do you read slash want to talk about on here? <clears throat> Basically, what the kind of books that I'm reading right now are thrillers, mystery, suspense, crime, killing, serial killers. And I like reading that kind of novel. I always have since I started getting into reading. So those are what I'm kind of going through right now. But I also uh, really like just contemporary novels. Um, when God Was a Rabbit, I have to read that. The, the Hundred Year Old Man That Went Out the Window and something or other. I really want to read that and I haven't yet. I have, I have, I have, I'm kind of just tackling my mysteries. So yeah, basically I like 
uh, thrillers, mystery, suspense, contemporary novels, and memoirs. I like memoirs. I read a lot of memoirs, or have a lot of them. I haven't read them all. I've read a few. <laughs> Um, I have Augustin Burroughs. I have a whole bunch of his. I started reading Running with Scissors, but I um, only got about halfway through that. Um, stuff like that. Number six. Who are some of your favorite authors? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to say them all right now because I can't even think what they are. I'm just going to list them. Here. I like all of these authors equally a lot. But right now, I'm currently going through a huge marathon of Erica Spindler, as you may have seen from my May to be read, which I'm going to be doing a wrap up, and my June to be read, which features more of the same, and plus some extras. Okay, seven, what's the last book you read? The last book I finished completely was Killer Take All. Killer Takes All by Erica Spindler, and it was very good. Question number eight is, the, what, what is the book I'm currently reading? And it is Last Known Victim by Erica Spindler. Number nine, what do you use for bookmarks? Um, I just use bookmarks. Um, currently, I'm using one of those um, laminated bookmarks that you get in your kids' school pictures. You can get like a laminate option. And I usually get that because I like to have the bookmark for my reading. And I can see my daughter's beautiful face whenever I read my books. Show us your current TBR. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking this is going to be my current TBR. I think. I think. That's kind of a big goal for me because last month I only read about five and a half books. Once I have the goal set, I plan on achieving it. For number 11, which do I prefer? hardcover or paperback. I prefer paperback. S generally, uh, it's easier to maneuver when I'm in my bed reading. But I think that the hardcover books are really, really pretty when all lined up on the shelves and probably will be more durable. For example, this is trade paperback, which it's referred to on when I shop online at Chapters. They refer to this as trade paperback and they refer to this as mass market paper bound. So I like to get the trade paper back because it's bigger, but it's still soft cover. So these are two books I need to read too, but I love books. All right, so now, which do I prefer, ebooks or physical books? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. I prefer physical books to ebooks. Um, I've tried reading an ebook, um, it was free. And I, I really have trouble getting into it. I don't know if that's why I'm not really liking the story as much, or if it's just the story that I'm not getting into. I should really get on that too, because I, I was sent the copy from an author that wanted me to review it, and I haven't got it. I have only like 40. Piece, I'm only 40 percent done the book, and I should really finish it because I feel bad. But I just can't get into the book, and I don't know what's the reason. But I definitely prefer physical books. Um, owning or borrowing? Owning, because I wouldn't want to give back a book I really loved. Question number 12 is, what book or series got you into reading? Well, even when I was young, like in grade four or five, I remember going to the library and getting like 20 books and bringing them back. And I was just, I loved them. I loved looking at them. I loved looking through them, but I would never read them all. I think maybe I just didn't appreciate reading as much as I do now. There was one book I remember that I really quite loved, and it was about a haunted mansion, and there was kids. And I think it was called, like, The Haunted Mansion, or The Haunted House, or something. And I want to say it had a purple cover? Anyway, I would love to find that book again and see how it compares, or how I remember it. I was 27. Um, while I was pregnant, I got um, really into books. I'd go to the library with my mom, and we'd bring back tons and tons of books, like before. The book series that I really got into when I was pregnant, uh, when I was 27, was Patricia Cornwell's K. Scarpetta novels, and she was a medical examiner. 
and she had a detective friend, and I loved that series so much, and I stopped reading it when I got, after I had my daughter, and there weren't any more books, I don't think, at that point, but then now there's been some extras, uh, so I'd like to reread that series again someday. And I also really enjoy Jonathan Kellerman's um, Alex Delaware novels, he's a psychologist. And uh, also I really like John Sanford, uh, Lucas Davenport, his series, The Prey Novels. So I liked those three series, they got me really into the books, as well as Erica Spindler and Karen Slaughter at the same time, all of those authors. And Joy Fielding, all of them. <laughs> got me into the books. Number 13, how did you discover booktube? Well, I think I already went through that when I was talking about why I made the channel. I was, I was looking up if people made videos about books and I discovered booktube. <clears throat> what challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel? Um, I'm not sure if I'll face any challenges other than maybe not getting uh, motivated enough to make videos or reading enough. Um, everyone gets in slumps, that would maybe a challenge and or I'm kind of a perfectionist and in regards to editing and it can take me a long time to edit a video I have to have it perfect I have this vision in my head of how I want it to look and the music and, and everything I've already filmed this video once before and I didn't like it so I'm redoing it <laughs> number 15 where else can we find you um, I, I've got Goodreads, I've got Twitter, I've got Instagram. So I'll link up my social media, etc., etc., down below. And you can follow me and find out what I'm reading, and we can be friends and talk and gab, etc. So, yes, that was my new to booktube tag. I hope you enjoyed it. And check out the original video, do your own video. I tag everyone who's new to booktube and sees this video to do one themselves because it's fun. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. I have room by Emma De De I have room. <laughs> I have room by Emma Dunog. Dunog? Dunog? Whatever. Oh my god, could I take any longer to answer these questions?